How you doing? Hey, I'm, it's, I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, Amy? Oh, boy, I had the phone call. A loud God damn, I must have been talking to Alice last time. <laughs> yeah, I got a little more bass in my voice. I put my ears out in the car. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's those years of choir and the fact that I was, uh, I'm just loud, I'm just a loud asshole. But how you doing, Amy? I'm just playing some Power World right well. now. I, I finally figured out how to get, like, this dumbass footer in my chat widget to, like, go away. I was like, of all of the things that you would do to say, oh, we're the most customizable hardware, blah, blah, blah. I'm just, I was just upset. I finally, I just figured out I was just a dumbass and didn't look at the right menu. I hear you in the car. Are you coming Maybe back from... Thinking. What's up? No, I'm going to DBT. Ah, gotcha. I, uh, it starts in, like, nine minutes. Ah, so you rush so. in. Uh, so, so, I, so, I, so, don't worry. If you have to hang up out of nowhere, I'm not going to be offended. I know why. Yeah. Um. But uh, have you seen uh, that Mehdi Hassan and uh, Don Lemon both have started uh, live streams? And they're really good. Like they're taking like serious looks at stuff. And um. It's, it's uh, really neat to see, you know, uh, these legendary mainstream uh, journalists get involved in uh, the live streaming uh, community. You know what I think, you know what, you know what I think it might be? I think, I th like, and I, I feel this way about Chris Hayes, too, because, because, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Chris Hayes, like, when he leaves MSNBC, finally, he goes and does this shit, too, because, like, he, like, Say what you will. They don't about like Don the leash that are picked up them at those at, at at those businesses. That's honestly what it is. Yeah, it's uh, like you know, both of them have actually said as much that like even when Mehdi Hassan was uh, his show was canceled, they were still going to keep him on as a commentator, and he's like, actually, no, no I'm I'm going to go my own way. Yeah, yeah. and. uh he started uh, Zateo, he's calling it. And yeah. uh, they've been having a lot of great uh, talks. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is, is, is that, like, the vibe... Uh, listen, say what you will about Don Lemon, like, just, like, doing... The pro the problem with with it is is that Don Lemon, Lemon is... Like, I don't know if you've ever watched, like, the CNN Times Square bullshit that they do every year. But like, yeah, the it shows that their on-air talent has talent. They are good at their jobs. They are good at entertaining. That they are good yeah. at like saying things and like having you know and all that. And honestly, they they like people don't get into journalism to do milk toast bullshit. They get into journalism to make a change. Like so, but like yeah. you know, but the, the people like Mehdi Hassan and fucking Don, Don Lemon probably realized. Like, hey, I can, like, I, I have to make a living and I want to be comfortable. And I, and I want to, like, you know, be a hard-hitting journalist, but all the hard-hitting journalists, like, their lives fucking suck. And, like, I could live a relatively comfortable life. And, like, here's the thing. It's, like, that is something that 9 out of 10 people, like, they're, they're going to make that compromise because it, it, I mean, like, at the end of the day, you have, like, you have to, like, make sure your bases are covered. Like, I don't necessarily blame them for doing that. I don't blame Chris Hayes for going to back and doing, you know, milk toast journalism after, like, the first three episodes of his, you know, program on, uh, like, like when he first started years ago, where, like, some of the best... And I was a teenager at the time, but I thought it was some of the best fucking journalism I'd seen. Like, call-outs, it was great. You know, so it's like... Mm -hmm. So this is like allowing like the it, it, like uh, people like people like Kyle Kulinski love to sh like the shit on Don Lemon and stuff like that too for like like being bad like I I'm not saying that like the work they were doing at CNN was good but what I am saying like I don't think it was necessarily their faults like like they, like they were like like failures of like enter of journalists and 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 and, and showmans no I, no it, it it was the upper management of CNN wanted to take their entire channel in a right-wing slant. And they had... That's and, the thing. Yeah, their and new they, CEO was like, no, we're literally going to go for the right-wing bias. 
Yes, and, let's, uh, yes let, let's go for the 30% of the American population that already already thinks Fox News is too fucking, you know, establishment and they and and, and has right? spent the last 20 years yeah. and and take a network that has been the been, been the example of liberal media to these people for the last 20 years. Like it's just it's it's just they want to do like they want to do everything except for some level of like populist well, coverage. Protecting capital is what they're doing. They're protecting capital, that's, and that's it's just, honestly what it is. And, it's, it's they're maneuvering to protect their capital. They're maneuvering to protect their capital, um, and the problem it is, is that it won't be long before you start doing the same. Right, it, and 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 functionally, at the end of the day, you know, protecting like like news media that is protecting capital is just not popular it's just not it's popular not news. it's not news you can't you yeah. cannot like you can do it with a right-wing bend but the problem is is, is that the like you know you're you can't be like cnn and try and go and get some of fucking anyways have a nice to go oh sorry i'll talk to you later bye yeah but i was saying you can't fucking get be a cnn and get of Fox News' market share. It's just, it's not, it's not, it's not going to happen. You know, so, you know, I'm not surprised that Lemon, Hedy Masson, and the rest of them, like, are doing, like, a good job with the live streams and the reporting and stuff. They're certainly doing a lot better than fucking Tucker Carlson is at this point, but even though at the end of the day, um, it is what it is. Quack.